Hi, welcome to Short Run Pro's video series on various manufacturing topics. I'm Arthur Toll, and today I'm going to talk with you about PEM nuts. Uh, PEM nuts are, uh, are these, little, the, these little things right here. And what they do is they provide a, a threaded surface for which uh, uh, material can grab onto. Um, I'm, we've talked previously about what a tapped hole is, where you uh, put threads in it. So if you put a machine screw in, in the tapped hole, it'll, it'll have threads to lock onto. Well, in some materials, like if you're working with really thin gauges, like maybe uh, an 18 gauge or 20 gauge or something like that, um, and you have a fairly large hole relative to the material size, um, there's, not enough, uh, there's not enough space to get the threads in there. So you might get like one line across, one line of threading. And that's just not enough for, uh, for a screw to grab hold of. And, uh, and it'll just rip out really easily. Um, so there's a couple solutions to that. Uh, one which is, uh, which is used fairly commonly in really large, uh, large run manufacturing is an extruded hole where they, uh, they take a, 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 a ream and they push the material out so it, co so it comes up like this. And then they thread that. So that's, that's one possible solution. But it's not very accurate uh, for, for most uh, materials, especially for short, this stuff you would use on short run uh, fabrication. So the solution uh, is PEM nuts. PEM nuts come to the rescue on this. Um, like, I like I showed you, um, it's, a, it's a little threaded, uh, threaded nut-like piece. And what you do is you would put it into, um, into a hole, and this isn't a, a perfect uh, example, but, uh, but it's here. So you would put it into a hole like that. It would go into the hole, and you'd lock it in there. Now, how does it lock in there without, uh, without any threads in there or anything? It uses a process called cold forming, where you stick it into the hole. Now, here's our hole on our part. So that's going to be our material, and that's going to be our hole. By the way, we're looking at everything. Everything here is in cross section. It's so like we're we've cut the part open and we're looking in. Now, once we once we put it in there, what we do is we use a, a press uh, that specific for PEM nuts to uh, to put a lot of pressure down on the PEM nut and simultaneously put a lot of pressure up on the uh, uh, up from the metal right around this area. And it's so much pressure that even though this is steel, like you wouldn't think, oh, you push steel and it bends. But just like, uh, like Play-Doh or something, you push it hard enough, and this will actually deform into this little, this little crevice. So once that forms in there, it locks in place. Um, there are little. Uh, there are little jagged edges around the around the edge to make sure it doesn't rotate either, so it gets held in place very firmly. You've got a, uh, a hole with a threaded stud sticking up out of it for you, and um, and you can use that to uh, to put machined screws in there. One place we use this a lot is when we make PCI brackets. Uh, PCI brackets are often made in very large quantities. Most PCI brackets are made with extruded holes, like I'd mentioned earlier. But uh, when people need uh, short run production, they, maybe they just have a, a PCI card that they're just trying out, or uh, they're prototyping, or they just don't have a, a large demand for, for their uh, particular PCI bracket, what we'll do is we'll use uh, PEM nuts in that situation, because uh, like I said before, it's much more accurate uh, than extruding and, and easier for us to do. So here is a, uh, here's a PCI bracket. And as you can see, we've, uh, we've got some PEM nuts installed on there. Those are four, uh, uh, I'm sorry, 440 size uh, screws with, uh, and you can see the threading in there. Thanks for joining me on this. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment or send us an email, and you can always find us at www.shortrunpro.com. Uh, thank you, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.